I guess I'd have to say it's sarcasm. <laughs> what would you say? I don't feel as though you could bring that on camera. <laughs> you know you say you were catching cramp and what's not. No, I'll give you a for your dope, buddy. Sarcasm again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> I'm Shamar Brooke. And I'm Jason Holder, and I'm going to ask asking Shamar some questions. When did we first meet? I believe it was at the 19 trial game. Friendship. Yeah, that's the first time we would have met. Coach Dexter Toppin would have been the one to introduce me to you. I think you were 15 at the time. What are my best qualities? Ah, oh, this is an interesting question. Um, <laughs> I think you're an honest guy, one, mm. um, a people's person, two, you like for the party, three, <laughs> just to name a few. Oh, Jason, what are your best, what are my best qualities? Oh man, I would say you're definitely a people's person, a friend of everyone, <laughs> a very honest man, <laughs> a very, very honest man. I appreciate that. And a competitor, I, I see you as a big, big competitor. What annoys you most about me? I don't have to find anything, you know, if there's nothing that annoys you. No, 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 there it is, there it is. I guess I'd have to say it's sarcasm. <laughs> I think the sarcasm is what really takes it over the top for me sometimes. Oh, boy. <laughs> sarcasm, man. Oh, boy. What annoys you most? <laughs> that in serious times, you could never be serious. <laughs> good point, good point. Funniest moment in our friendship. There's been so many funny moments, huh? That's true, boy. I think I would have to say in Canada. In a, in a, probably in a, in a game in the academy. We were playing against Canada and I, I got a couple full tosses and I flicked <laughs> both of them to cover. And the guys were just all over me. Just you made, you really, you really had a good laugh at me on that trip. I would say well, that's one of our funniest moments. What would you say? Funniest moment, man. <laughs> There's one that stands up, but I don't feel as though I can bring it on camera. <laughs> I would say celebrating your, I think it was your 25th birthday. We went to, I think it was the bubbles. That's when we had the, the hats on it. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that, that, that burst, man. Burks, <laughs> yeah, burks, yeah, 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 yeah. And you had that nice big bottle of alcohol and we had a nice drink and yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed that. I, that was a good, that was a good moment. Yeah, we, we, had, we had some good times, man. Are we competitive? Golf as well as cricket. Big time. I would say both in cricket and golf, yeah. But anything we're competing in, actually, it could be dominoes, it could be cards, yeah. whatever. Road tennis. Road tennis. Table tennis. Table tennis. Yeah. Conversation. Definitely. When were you most proud of me? When you scored your double 100 in Bahamas. Yeah. My first tour with the West Indies team, being the side, you know, you being the captain, watching you score that double at home against England. I would say that was my proudest moment for you. What was your most proudest moment for me? Honestly speaking, the proudest moment for me would have been the day you got married, your wedding day. And just because I know the history between you and your wife and what you guys have been through, and to actually see that day and witness that day and be a part of it, you know, for me it was real, real special, man. Let's go on to cricket now. What do I admire about my game? But you know, from the academy days, I always gave you that nickname, Pro. I have stuck with you <laughs> till now, I guess. Your professionalism, for sure. The way you go about it. More often than not, you want to do the right things consistently. And for me, that stands out. Lovely moment. Another debutante, a proud moment for this man who's been around a long time. I want you to take me through your ODA debut. How did you feel when Delaney dropped you? Oh, that's dreadful bowling. Full toss. Goal! Oh, dropped the dolly. Dropped an absolute sitter. Gareth Delaney. It was a big full toss on leg stump. I don't even know how to express that. I mean, it was a dolly. It was a baby. <laughs> and to see it go down, I actually dropped my head when it went up here, and I, I know it was out, but fortunately, I got another chance. It would have been nice for us to share that moment in terms of me being there crossing that milestone. At the same venue, we shared my first half century as well yep. in Test Cricket, so it would be nice to get out my stone with you at the crease as well. I know, honestly speaking, sitting out in the dressing room watching it, not in a bad way, but I was hoping to at least bat with you on your first game. And then when I went into the bat with you, you were in your 80s, and you hit the six over mid wicket. I think that took you into your 90s. And I was just saying, well, look, 
I want this man to get this hundred so bad. Not just for him, but I just want to be able to share that moment with you on that field. I mean, it's unfortunate the way things went, but I mean, everything happens for a reason, man. And the mere fact you raised your back in your first game and had the start you had against Ireland, I think it just sets you up now for what's to come now. I think the best of Shamar Brooks is yet to come, and I honestly looking forward to seeing it, man. Oh my goodness, a picture of beauty. And you won't see a better shot than that today. So, take me back to the start of the day. Well, actually, take me back to preparation. You would have probably had an idea of if you were going to play or not. What was preparation like for you leading up to what could potentially be your first game? The first practice session that we had, you know, we go and look at the board to see who we're facing as batsmen. And <laughs> as I said, your name was down, Azari's name was down, and Mario Shepard's name was down. And I knew even before I faced the ball in the net that it was going to be a very challenging one. Because I know you always, you're always a competitor in net. So Zari always brings it, keeps you in check. And Shepard is, is very steady. So for me, that was a perfect practice session, my first day out. And from then, the way it shaped up, the way you guys bowl, I felt comfortable, even though it was challenging. And I felt from there on, I was, my preparation was good going in. What are our roles in the dressing room? Well, my role is simple. <laughs> Just be me. And uh, what is you? The life for the party, the guy who brings a laugh, energy on the field when I'm on it. You say that for me. Ah. Apart from that, that's me. Stay bubbly, keep guys in a good frame of mind. And yeah, that's basically it for me. What is your role? So, wait, hold on. Before I get into my role, I just want the people to know that I am your biggest fan, but your biggest critic as well too. So you got 90 odd yesterday, and people may be wondering, you know, what are these little inside jokes are. Shamar batted, you know, pretty much most of the innings. So it was very humid, very hot, but he wasn't able to stay on the park. And one of the things that we always speak about as friends is being able to stay on the park. So our another close friend, Shane Dorch, you know, is one that we really hold close sometimes for not staying on the park. And yesterday, Shamar, you weren't present on the park for all 100 overs, man. So at one stage, I just, just felt as though you just came to have a knock, <laughs> you know, and, and you weren't miserable feeling. But, you know, you said you were catching cramp and what's not. You know, I'll give you benefit, though, buddy. Shane, I hope you get the opportunity to watch this. <laughs> I mean, this is, is interesting. It's interesting. We'll have a laugh about it later. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Tell us a bit about your Holders Hill community. It's been an area where I guess people have spoken about it for years where so many Barbados cricketers and West Indies cricketers have come from. I remember when I was about seven or eight years old, that's the first time I met the new appointed chairman of selectors, Des Mahanes. And he actually gave me my first cricket shirt. And guys like Adrian Griffith and Philo Wallace and these guys would have been around as well when I was coming up as a young man. And it actually helped me a lot coming through. My first coach would have been a guy by the name of Peter Ski. Peter Ski and Sam Ski, their brothers, and they would have been the guys who would have really helped the youngsters in the community in terms of shaping their careers at that young age. And we're just diving into a bit of the future, post cricket. You could see us having any post career ambitions together? That's a very interesting question. I was actually thinking about umpiring, but I don't think you'd be looking to get back in terms of on the field when you're finished. But I can definitely see your administration, whether it be chairman of selectors or a president of the board or something. I can see something down the line. I can see you involved here, something down the line. Well, I ain't too sure about being directly involved in cricket, but you and I, we would have spoken about that. I know one of the things that we could definitely agree on, and that's playing lots of golf after, after cricket. We would have spoken about making our senior tour and I was wanting to knock it because I just don't see it being possible. But you are a damn good golfer, an extremely competitive person, extremely determined as well too. So sarcasm again. <laughs> but I don't expect you not to try. You know, your personality is, you know, you will go head over heels for it and then maybe reality will kick in. <laughs> <laughs> I realize it's not possible. I realize you'd be shot down, but you know, I'll be there by your side. Maybe I'll caddy. You'll caddy? Yeah, yeah, because maybe my golf swing is so much crap. 
you know, hopefully we don't have to ask Craig to spend some time on it. But no, the way I see you strike the golf ball, definitely not something I will rule out. I've ruled a lot of things with you and I've been proven wrong, so I wouldn't rule it out. But for sure, we will play golf for Barbados together, for sure. That's an ambition, for sure. I appreciate your honesty. Oh, for sure. Cheers, buddy.